Ever wondered about the rules and regulations behind window tinting? More importantly, did you know there are medical exemptions to these laws? Today, we're going to pull back the curtain on this intriguing topic. Window tinting, while it may seem like a simple aesthetic choice for your vehicle, is actually regulated by laws that vary from place to place. The typical limits set by these laws, however, aren't necessarily the be-all and end-all of window tinting. That's right, there are certain medical conditions that can grant you an exemption, allowing you to tint your windows beyond the standard limits. It's a fascinating dimension to window tinting that isn't often talked about, but it's one we believe deserves to be brought to light. So, are you ready to learn about the intersection of health, law, and window tinting? Stay with us as we delve into the different types of issues that can qualify one for a medical exemption for window tinting. Window tinting isn't just about aesthetics or privacy. For some people, it's a medical necessity. Let's delve into the realm of medical exemptions for window tinting. These exemptions allow individuals with certain health conditions to legally tint their car windows beyond the typical limits set by the state. First, we have photosensitivity. This condition is characterized by extreme sensitivity to the sun's ultraviolet rays, causing discomfort and even burns to the skin. Darker window tints can filter out these harmful rays, offering relief to those with photosensitivity. Next, we have lupus, an autoimmune disease. People with lupus often experience photosensitivity and exposure to sunlight can trigger painful flare-ups. By reducing the amount of sunlight that penetrates the car windows, darker tints can help manage this condition. Melanoma, a type of skin cancer, is another condition that can warrant a window tinting exemption. As you may know, exposure to ultraviolet radiation is a major risk factor for melanoma. Thus, darker window tints, which block a significant percentage of UV rays, can be a preventative measure for individuals at risk. Lastly, let's talk about photophobia, a condition characterized by a sensitivity to light that can cause severe eye discomfort. For photophobic individuals, the glare of sunlight on a bright day can be debilitating. Darker window tints can reduce this glare, making it easier for them to see and drive safely. In addition to these conditions, there are other less common medical reasons that may qualify for a window tinting exemption. If you think you may qualify, we recommend consulting with a healthcare professional to discuss your options. Remember, the goal of these exemptions isn't to bend the rules for the sake of aesthetics or personal preference. Rather, they are intended to protect and accommodate individuals with specific health conditions, making their everyday life a bit more comfortable. So, as you can see, there are a variety of medical conditions that could qualify you for a window tinting exemption. So, you have a condition that qualifies for an exemption. What now? How do you go about applying for this exemption? Don't worry, it's not as daunting as it might seem. Let's walk through the process together. The first step is to gather the necessary paperwork. This usually includes a signed document from a licensed physician stating your medical condition and why window tinting is necessary for your well-being. Make sure the document has a current date and the physician's contact information for verification. Next, you'll need to fill out the application form for a medical exemption. This form can typically be found on your state's Department of Motor Vehicles or DMV's website. The form will ask for your details, vehicle information, and a description of your medical condition. Once you've collected all your documents, submit them to your state's DMV. The processing time can vary from a couple of weeks to a few months, so patience is key here. It's also important to note that medical exemptions for window tinting are not always permanent. Some states require you to renew your exemption every couple of years, while others may grant a lifetime exemption. Lastly, keep a copy of your exemption certificate in your vehicle at all times. This way, if you're ever stopped by law enforcement, you can easily provide proof of your exemption. Remember, each state has its own process, so it's important to research your specific state's requirements. We've covered a lot of ground today, so let's recap. We delved into the world of window tinting laws and discovered how medical exemptions come into play. Certain medical conditions, such as photosensitivity or melanoma, can qualify you for these exemptions, allowing you to tint your car windows beyond the typical state limits. We also discussed the process of applying for medical exemptions. Remember, it's crucial to consult with a medical professional and get their written recommendation. Then, you can submit this, along with the necessary application forms, to your state's Department of Motor Vehicles or equivalent authority. We also touched on the benefits of having darker window tints. Not only does it add a layer of privacy, but it also significantly reduces glare and harmful UV rays, providing protection for your eyes. In addition, it can help keep your car cooler, leading to more comfort during those hot summer months. 
but let's not forget the importance of staying within the bounds of the law. While darker tints can be beneficial, they shouldn't compromise your visibility or safety on the road. It's always best to check with your local authorities for the specific window tinting regulations in your area. With this information, you're now well equipped to navigate the world of window tinting laws and medical exemptions. Remember, it's not just about aesthetics, but also about health and comfort. Until next time, drive safe.